Hi guys, it's your girl Belinda, back up in my kitchen, getting ready to chef a simple sandwich today. It's my special cheesesteak sandwich. Okay, so how's everybody? I had to chill out for a couple days and just get some things done in the house, laundry, etc., all that mommy stuff. All right, so I'm back up in my kitchen, as I promised on Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to everybody. All right, so what I decided to do today, I decided, and I wrote the ingredients down so I can tell you guys, it's a simple, simple, simple ingredients. It's my very own cheese steak sandwich. It's a beef shaved steak that I do uh, with these lovely buns over here. So let's see what I got up in my kitchen. All right. Okay, so here we have uh, the Sunset Vine Tomatoes. These are the tomatoes that I use for my cheese steaks. We also have um, apple cider vinegar with the mother because I do do a little mix that I do. Um, it's just a simple onion, sweet onion mix that I do with a little bit of oregano leaves and uh, Goya extra virgin olive oil. So these are for all this together for the sandwich. All right, I have my butter lettuce in the back here. It's a head of butter lettuce, my favorite that I use for these buns over here. Um, all you need is one packet of sazon for the sh for the meat. So that's all you're going to use for two uh, 14 ounces of, uh, so it'd be 24 ounces of, or 28, sorry, ounces of, of meat. Just one packet of sazon is perfectly fine. Um, if you decide to add uh, any of your ingredients, that's perfectly fine as well. It's a sandwich. A sandwich is a sandwich, but if you want it to come out my way, like I tell you guys all the time, you got to use my recipe. All right. So I got two different cheeses, y'all. I got sharp cheddar cheese that I'm grinding up in my grinder on top of the sandwiches when they're all done. Um, I have the Asago cheese, and I also have... Um, yeah, let me tell you about this beautiful, luscious bread. Okay, so those are all the ingredients. That's it. That's all you, you have to do for these lovely sandwiches. Okay, so I can't wait. Kiddos are in school. All right, so I'm about to pick my little yum-yum up in a minute. All right, so these sandwiches here, these are French bread, which I love so much because they go so delicious with this, uh, with this shaved beef uh, steak. Um, it's called uh, Barocci. Birochi, that's how it's pronounced. Birochi banquet, and they're light and fluffy banquets made with egg. So delicious with this uh, lovely, lovely um, steak meat, along with all these ingredients in here. So that's all I'm doing, just a simple sandwich. It's one of those days. However, I do plan on, um, I took down all the Valentine's Day decorations as well. So I'm sorry if my lighting is not good. I just did my little workout. <laughs> um, so I got some soda pops, two liters. I'm going to be doing things with these as well. Um, however, I, we, me and my daughter will not be posting this until probably, I would have to say Wednesday. Uh, I'm sorry, Thursday. Thursday. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> so um, I got a couple things out um, um, saved up for to do for, make some decorations for, um, for March, for St. Patrick's Day, for my window, like I did with the Valentine stuff, right? All right, so I already have a couple things here, as you see. I also got this, sour cream and onion lays, little uh, plastic bottle here. I have another Mountain Showers, two liter. And then these are just stuff that I have from last year. I do have a few things that I'm still digging up from my, uh, from my bin in my basement. So that's what's going on today. Uh, we are going to get started on some of the stuff tonight. However, definitely we're doing a little, just a little theme on the window. That's it. Um, as you can see, I'm still doing laundry here. <laughs> um, I took down all the Valentine stuff as well. And I'm putting them away in a bin so that way I could do something for them um, next next valentine's day and hopefully um i was thinking about doing like a tree in my daughter's room for next valentine's day really pretty and put those up for her the ones that we made for next year anyway my windows cleared out however i okay i always keep my lights on but i am going to use these blue lights here to do uh to do the um uh, the lighting at night for the bottles. So it's going to be super cool. I can't wait to show you. So I'm not going to 
be exactly done with all that. We still have to come up with a few sure. ideas. However, please don't miss my sandwiches. You know this girl gets down in her kitchen. All right, so, and I just want to thank everybody for um, viewing my daughter's project, um, the little side show that I did for her so beautifully. So I do appreciate that with all my heart, and she does too. All right, so catch me a little later this evening for those sandwiches in about, I would say about two, three hours. So, yeah, two, three hours from now. <laughs> All right, catch in a little bit, and it is 1.34. So I say about five-ish, six-ish, closer to six. <laughs> My timing's not always good. Remember, at the end of the day, I'm a mommy. Bye. Please don't miss it.